Hey everybody, how are you today? Hope everybody's doing good. Y'all, it's raining here, but it's still a little bit warm, so we're good. But um, welcome to Embellish With Us Wednesday. And this is uh, coming to you care of the collaboration is with Gigi's uh, Cool Creations and Mary Ann's Crafty Corner. They're the ones who's hosting the uh, Embellish With Us Wednesday. And I came on... Uh, if y'all watched my video the other day where I showed the collection of the purebred, uh, I told you I was going to do uh, some different things with the backing I had already done onto a lot of the pictures. Well, I wanted to bring these to you and show you what I did decide to do with them. Of course, I've got my envelopes to put in them. These are single-sided cards. This is what I did. Now, I'd already backed all these. So, when I got it out, I put a piece of lace here, piece of lace here, added a bow that matched kind of back with the picture, and added one of my little diamond-dusted flowers that matched back with the picture. I took one of the real small, and these are less than, um, it's a little less than one and three quarters by uh, two inches. I had backed those, but I added it onto the bottom of the page, and I just simply popped it up just a hair. It's not very thick. So, anyway, that's how these came out, and I think they look good. I did go back and antique all my card and the lace and the bow. I put a little antiquing on it because I wanted them to go back with the pictures and still look a little vintage. So, this is how i done these. This is the first one. This is the second one. Isn't that adorable? I just love her. And the pink match back with her, which in this one, the blue and all match back with the puppies and the outline. So I've done that one. Same way, same creation. And y'all know I'm trying to make three or four at a time uh, if it's to go in my stash just so I'll have them. This, another one of my flowers, bow, the lace, and this time that little girl. And she's with her kitten. And, of course, there's Mama with her baby dog. All right. Then the purebred lady with her little Victorian dog. I done the little girl playing with her cat. And added this flower, of course, the lace. So I think these come out just adorable. A while back, I was showing you these little books I was making. Well, I sat down last night and made this one. I've got several of them already made, but... All this is, I took and glued the lace to the back. These are, um, I gave the measure measurements in a previous video, but this is using a 12-inch slice of paper. And this, I just embellished very simply, uh, blossom where you grow, and then the flower. I added uh, this, be calm and carry on to the front of this. And then this... I have tucked in two, in which I might change one of these out, but two of my purebred uh, ATC cards I showed you the other day that I had created. Made it very simple. And then I added this ATC card, which I think is adorable. Or ATC card, listen to me, MD card. So two ATC cards and one MD card. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love the quilled butterfly. And it says laugh, and then it's got just this little flower garden on, because you can't have butterfly without flowers. And it's on the back, plain, so I'll be able to put some information on it. And I might do, well, what I wanted to do, I always send a couple ATC cards. So one of them will have my information, and one will be blank where they can use it for something else. But I added just a little trim down here and scored the edges so it does look like a little book. And like I said, then my little uh, lace here, I'm just using it as a trim. So two completely different uh, crafts, but they're all using embellishments. All of them are, you know, hand done. And I think these just come out gorgeous. And, you know, you can't be afraid to play around. And vintage is nothing spectacular. If you can do, you know, regular, I've had some people say I've not tried vintage. Vintage is fun. Only thing you're going to do is antique it up a little bit around the edges. I mean, that's basically what it is. And keep your colors, you know, they can be bright, they can be muted, but you want to keep everything going together. And that's the same way I always show you these, you know, everything matches back. 
uh, keep your color combinations going. And that's it. I hope you have a blessed, beautiful day. I hope you like what I bring you. And I hope you'll give a lot of these crafts a try. Go watch everybody in this collaboration. It is a wonderful collaboration. And you learn a lot. All right. Hugs, love, and kisses, sweethearts. Have a blessed day. Bye.